Hello everyone, welcome back. I just got started on something. I'm making a stuffed bear pepper with turkey, ground turkey. What I have here is caramelized onion. This part take a little longer because you have to, you know, release the flavor coming from the onion. So I want to get started on this first so I can show you how it's done. Sorry for the noise in the background, y'all. Since my juices have released it, I'm released from my onions. I'm gonna put three coals of garlic inside. Just let this saute around for about one minute. Make sure when you caramelize your onion, make sure you put your stove on very low. It takes, it takes time, but it turns out good every single time. And I did use the avocado oil. You can use any oil of your choice. Just use what you have. You don't have to go out there and buy anything. So right now I'm going to use some ground turkey. This is 93 lean, 7 percent fat, but you can use any one. They got the 80-20. All that is okay. I'm gonna add this. I'm only gonna make two bell peppers because I had a request to uh, make it. So this is one of the ways that I do make it. There's, there's so many ways that you can make it. So after you uh, put your ground beef, I mean ground turkey. I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. Okay. I'm gonna add some chicken flavor, bouillon. About a teaspoon full. Sprinkle a little salt, just a little bit. Very little. I love onions, so I make sure that I put enough inside. If you don't like onions, you don't have to put it. The onions just make it taste so good, especially when you caramelize them first. Chop thyme and rosemary. We're gonna add a little all-purpose seasoning. Can I see that? Add some black pepper. Okay. And cook. Just put your stove between four and five. Let it cook real slow. Kind of make sure that your meat is mashed pretty well. I see them caramelized onion in there. It looks so delicious. Put me some green bell pepper inside. I'm 
No, I did cut up one and a half. I apologize, one and a half onion to come out of it, not two, it's one and a half. But you can add the whole two, doesn't matter. It depends on how much you're cooking. I'm only fixing two, so. a little water just a little bit like so the reason why I'm doing that just keeps it moist go ahead and add my green onion in here this is three scallions some people call them green onions a number call them scallions but people no I'm as green onion most time. Okay, I'm going to come back to this here. I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna come back to it. I'm gonna finish it up and show you how I make it thicker. This is the water for the bell pepper what I did was I cut them like so just cut the top from it and clean the inside like so just have two so I'm gonna wait till this water boil I'm gonna add the bell peppers we only gonna uh, boil them for a good five to seven minutes because you don't want them too soft because you remember you still have to stuff them Okay, after five minutes, just gonna just get your fork and just put it inside here. You don't want a real sauce, upside down like so. It's hot. I'm gonna put it inside of whatever you're baking it on. Just make sure you just release all the water from it. Okay, right now I just put my turkey meat back on the stove. See how it's still moist with the little water that, you, uh, that I added? You can taste it at this point and see if you need any more season. I taste my own and it tastes great the way it is. I'm only fixing two bell peppers, so this is how the bell pepper is. Just wanna just flex it just a little bit. That's all you wanna do. If you don't wanna to do too soft, it just break all the place. I can just pick that up and it's still together. I'm gonna add some fresh parsley inside of the meat. Fresh is always better. If you don't have fresh, just use what you have. It's no problem. This is one slice of bread. You can use any bread of your choice, but the sandwich bread, it works really well. You don't have that, you have fresh bread. It's any kind of bread. What it does is it's just gonna thicken your meat up. You just get your bread and just mash it all inside. Okay, at this point, we're gonna turn it off. Let me show you how I'm going to stuff it. Can't see the bread inside. See how it's all together. Kind of make it a little more thicker. Let's 
So I do that, see how it just stay? It don't just fall back down like so. Okay. Okay, everyone, this is the stuffing for the turkey stuffing for the stuffed bell peppers. Okay, what I'm gonna do, let's see the two that I have here. I wish I had another one, but I don't have any more. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add, I'm using some mild cheddar. Put just one teaspoon of the meat at the bottom. Like so. Try to get them caramelized onion. Then I'm gonna put my hands are clean. Every time I do work in the kitchen, my hands are clean. So I'm gonna put a little cheddar in each one of them. And I'm gonna come back with my stuffing again. You're gonna press down. She pressed down really good. You're gonna go back with some more your cheese. You can use any cheese of your choice. Mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese. Any one of your choice. Go back with your stuffing again. If you have any leftovers, you can always freeze it. Come back and do it another day. Some more my cheddar on top, like so. Okay, this is how it's looking, like this. Okay, see how it's looking like this here. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna put a little water at the bottom, because you don't want your peppers to, to burn. Just put a little bit, so it can steam it really well. Okay, these tops, I'm just put these tops on it like so. These boys sometimes they shrink a little bit. And I'm gonna put it in the oven and let it cook for about 15 or 20 minutes. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it at the end. I apologize everyone, but I did take it out the oven after that i put more cheddar on top of it and i put it back in the oven for about five to seven minutes and this is the end